Well, look, it all comes down to this, right? We start the most important series really in all of baseball, right? All the other divisions are figured up, factored in. Everything is done and taken care of in baseball except one division, right? And that is the NL East. So it comes down to this three-game set, Braves and Mets starting at Truist Park tonight. Now, here's the good news just in general, 35,000 foot. No weather issues. There should be no problems or issues with any fallout from the hurricane or anything like that. And God bless our folks down in Florida. My folks have a place down in Fort Myers looking at the pictures down there. It's awful. So it looks like all the weather things here in Atlanta will be fine this weekend. Now, it starts tonight at Truist Park with an outstanding pitching matchup. Jacob deGrom, and they've moved him around to pitch on Friday, takes on Max Freed. So here again, we're ace on ace. This is a number one start. You know, this is a game one of any round of the playoffs, Max Freed versus Jacob deGrom. The guy who's been the multi-time Cy Young winner the last couple of years against the best left-hander in baseball. Everything you could want and ask for. Now, a couple of things about this matchup. And by the way, too, as we look ahead to, in, and peek ahead in the, in the rest of the series. Uh, and by the way, two of the other games are going to be on national television. Max Scherzer, Kyle Wright. Okay, here's the old guard Cy Young guy against the new guy with the 20 wins on the season. And then, of course, Chris Bassett versus Charlie Morton in the final of the three. And ESPN's got one game. Fox has got the national. This is the only playoff race that's still going on in baseball. Now, a couple of thoughts about all of this. I mean, obviously, the Braves at this point have to sweep. They pretty much have to run the table the final six games. They have to pretty much go 6-0 and oh in the final games to win the division because the Mets have the tiebreaker. Losing a game to the Mets is pretty much going to be the death knell for the division. It means they'll probably play the Padres, I believe it is, coming up in the, in the first round of the playoffs and things like that. You feel good because they beat DeGrom last time, right? So you feel good hump last time and you feel like you can make some hay against it. Not saying that you can, you know, not saying you're going to score five or six runs on the ground, but you feel like you can break through and you can win against him. It doesn't feel like he's the complete boogeyman right now, right? Tell you who I think is the key in this series. I think it's Ronald Acuna. I think it's the top of that order. Those guys create all of the havoc and mayhem. And we talked yesterday on the show. I want to see Michael Harris stay at the top of the order. With DeGrom and Scherzer, I want to see Michael Harris hit third. Do I think that he will? Probably not. But can I tell you, I want Ronnie Dansby Harris, one, two, three, in that order. I want to create havoc where I get one or two of those guys on, and now it's you know creating havoc on the base pass. Move a guy here, running here, ball to the wall, scores a guy from first. I need those havoc plays off my guys running around the bases. So to me, the key about this series is going to be the top of that order, and especially Ronnie, who, look, he's up, he's down, he's hurt, he's not, he's sore, he's tired, he's this, he's that, whatever like that. If, if you have to run Ronnie out there at DH to give him a break and give his legs a break out in right field, give him a break, let him DH. I just want to make sure he's healthy, ready to go, for this series. Do I think that the Braves can win three games against the Mets? Yes, I think they can sweep the Mets. Will they? I don't know. That's what you go on the field and play the games for. But it's not impossible to think that a team with whatever, where the Braves have 98 wins or whatever it is, it's not impossible to think that they can go out and beat the Mets in three straight. But I think Ronnie is the key in this series, getting him going. And then can you get Riley and Olsen with a clutch hit? Give me against the right-handers, Ronnie, Dansby, Harris, set it up, and then let Riley and Olsen clean up some of the mess, you know, havoc on the base pass. Let those guys clean up everybody on the base pass. This is going to be a fun series. This is what everything comes down to. I really wish the schedule makers in baseball would have been a little bit smarter to schedule this series as the last series of the year. Because here's the thing. While I understand you can't know what the teams are going to be in this any other, you certainly know that the Miami Marlins are god-awful. You certainly know that the Nationals are the disgrace in baseball. Oakland and Washington are the two disgraceful franchises in baseball right now. They're both god-awful, dreadful, pawn scum, scuzz bucket 
franchises. And the Marlins are nipping right on their heels. So you had to know that those teams are god-awful. Let them play each other. Have something that involves the Mets and Phillies and Braves. You know, again, I, I, I would have understood Mets and Phillies as the final series or Braves and Philly as the final series. I would have understand that. But the Braves are going to play the Marlins and the Mets are going to play the Nationals? Who came up with that Fakakta system? So, unfortunately, we're not going to get that as a winner-take-all to end the season in the division and things like that. But get me on base early. Get to DeGrom and Scherzer early on. They've set their rotation up to put their top guys against it. Because they understand, too. Look, the Mets want to win the division and avoid wild card, things like that. And I think the Mets, if they win the division, will also avoid the Braves until, you know, I think the championship series. Because I think the wild card and then I think the Braves would face the Dodgers after that. So the Mets have done everything they can to try to set their rotation up to make sure. But if they can find a way to break through against DeGrom tonight, it's not going to be easy. DeGrom, Scherzer, Bassett, not going to be easy. But start with Ronnie, get him on base, give me Dansby, give me Michael Harris in that three hole with the right-handers on the mound. Let those guys run around and wreak havoc on the base pass. And then let Riley, Olsen, whatever, um, Ozuna, Contreras, Darno, let those guys clean it up from there. Then whatever I get from the bottom of my order, I get from the bottom of my order. And I will tell you this too, Diaz is going to see a lot of action in this. He's not pitched a whole lot lately. They give him some work the other day. I think it was in a non-save situation because they haven't used him a whole lot. And I don't think it's coincidence that they – haven't used them a whole lot. Now, maybe they haven't been as many save situation games and things like that, but I don't think it's also coincidence that they haven't burned him out here lately. I expect Diaz, and they'll play the music and all that good stuff that goes along with it. I expect to see him even in the eighth inning. If it's a game, let's say it's four to three in the eighth, I expect Diaz will even be used in the eighth inning. So these, you know, this is going to be played just like a playoff series. Everything tightens down. And when things tighten down, you need base runners and speed. That's why Ronnie's going to be the key. Ronnie, Dansby, Harris. Give me that matchup right at the top of the order. Find a way to break through tonight. Not going to be easy, but you got your main man, Max Freed, on the mound tonight. I need him to be the best lefty in baseball tonight. This is going to be fun. It's the last playoff. It's the last division, I guess, I should say, last division that has to be decided in Major League Baseball. So it all cranks up tonight. Going to be a raucous crowd of tourists and no weather issues. Looks like we're all past all of those things. All right, we thank you so much for making Hitting Hard with John Trucker your first listen every day. Make ATL Day 1s your second listen every day as my friends Jarvis Davis and Ethra Batiste talk about all things in the heart of the city of Atlanta. They're free and available on our YouTube page at Locked On Sports Atlanta. Hit the subscribe button. We're over 4,000 folks there now. Leave us a comment. We are free and available to download on all of your favorite podcast platforms, including Spotify and Odyssey. Leave us a five-star review there. And want to make sure, Amazon Fire, Roku, you can check us out on both of those platforms now. We're now available on all of those. So put the Roku app on your device today. Check us out there. And of course, follow me at JMCH316. Have a great weekend. We'll be back Monday. We'll recap everything in the world that was Atlanta sports. Hitting hard with John Chuckery, Locked on Sports Atlanta.